Okay, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you some basic animation that you can do in Photopea, which uh, actually can make a GIF um, or GIF, however you want to say it. Uh, it's GIF. Anyways, so what we're going to do here is it's super easy. Um, it is a little confusing, so it's nice to kind of have uh, some understanding of what's happening. Now, in order for this to work, all I did here is I made a red circle. And I'm going to duplicate that same circle, but on this layer, I'm going to move it over. Now the problem, well, actually here, before we do that, so if I do this, you'll notice that you can't see it because of the white layer. So the first thing we're going to do is correctly do this. Um, so we're going to delete these layers. Okay, we have to have one. Delete this one. Because we don't want the background to also be animated. So the background should just be the background. Again, we don't want it to actually um, change. We want it to be a solid color. So we're going to make the background white. Okay. And now each layer that we use is what's the animated part. So again, I'm going to just start with a simple circle. We're going to make it bounce and we're going to make it red. Okay. So if this is my circle, again, I am on layer five here, but what we're going to do to each layer and this is the most important part, is we're going to use an underscore A underscore. Now, it doesn't matter what the layer is named. What matters is that each layer that we want animated has that A. And just think of A for animation. And again, it must be the correct underscore. So underscore A underscore. Now, that means right now we have three cells. Okay, so if I wanted to, and I duplicated this one, I would be able to move it over to where you have two. Now, I didn't actually draw on these, so I'm going to delete those. I was just trying to show you how to make the cells. I'm just going to continue copying them. And when I copy them, I'm going to move it over. And right now, you, it kind of looks like um, we have all these on the screen, but I'll show you what it looks like when I actually set it to animation. Now, the other thing you have to remember is when we animate, it's going to do the order that we tell it. So if you notice here, the animation, well, let's just see how it looks. I can show you. So based on this, here we have these one, two, three, four, five, six layers over top of a background. And let's see how it animates. It may, it, well, I'm guessing it's in the wrong order. Let's just take a look at it. So the A tells the computer, hey, I want to animate that. And here it is. Okay, and you can boomerang it um, just like, you know, on social media apps, you can reverse the frame so it's going to go forward and backward. Okay, but this is a really fun way to add things like color and design. So again, when we look at this, um, we need to remember it's going to start at the top and go down. So again, if you want to think of it, this is our first image and our second image. So these are not the two that should be there. So we're going to bring this one up and this should be our second image. Okay. Followed by, I believe this one. Okay. Again, I don't think that one's next. Let's see. There's next, next, and all the way over here, it looks like our first one was. So again, now if we put them in, we should be able to see the animation form. So cell one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, let's see how it looks now. And you'll notice I'm exporting as a GIF here. And there, we, and it's on Boomerang, so it's only going one, uh, both ways. There we go. And you can see it appears. Actually, it looks like it's going backwards. But you can see how it is. Yeah, let's reverse them. There we go. So you can see how it looks like it's bouncing. Now, again, it is zoomed in, just like when we go to save a JPEG. So I just open that. I'm not sure if it will open on my computer. No, I see it did that. But if I were to put that onto uh, like social media or anywhere I could actually have a GIF, I would be able to see that bouncing ball. Now you can do a little more with this by doing stuff with people. So here we can add this. And if you notice, my layers um, are, are these. Okay. So let's also, on this one, we'll just add some color or something just to have fun with it. We're just you know, being silly. So again, if we just did, you know, lines on this layer. 
they should also work into the program. So again, we have to rename these. So it's underscore A underscore. That tells it's an animation. Underscore A underscore. <clears throat> and lastly, let's see what, and again, it's gonna be kind of quick. It's only two cells, but it should work. Okay, now you can see I, I didn't, I went kind of quick on here. Um, slow down, not that slow. Um, but you can see that I went a little, no, I don't want it that fast. So you can see like when the mouth opens, you can see a little bit of the skin there. But all I did was I made two files and I selected the lip and then I warped it. And that's basically it. Um, it is a fun thing to work with. So again, you can see this is layer one, or the first cell, if you will. And then the second cell is this one. When you save these, you need all the eyes to be on, and you're going to set it as underscore A underscore. And basically, you can make any animation using Photo V. So it's pretty nice. And that concludes how to make a GIF.